As an estate administration nears completion, it's critical for the personal representative to understand how to close a probated estate. Hi, I'm Paul Groh, Director of the Estates Administration Department at the Law Offices of Daniel A. Hunt. In this video, I'll explain the specific steps a personal representative must complete in order to close the probate estate, including filing a final account report and petition for final distribution, setting the petition for hearing, giving notice of the hearing, and obtaining a court order approving the final distribution. First, filing a final account report and petition for distribution. The personal representative can file this document when all debts and taxes have been paid, the four month time frame for filing creditors claims has passed, and the estate is ready to be distributed and closed. Ideally, the estate should be ready to file this petition within one year of receiving letters of administration, or 18 months if you need to file a federal estate tax return. If the estate cannot meet this deadline, the personal representative must file a report on the status of the estate instead. An experienced probate lawyer can help file the necessary paperwork and meet all of the deadlines. The petition for final distribution is prepared in legal pleading format. It generally includes three parts. First, an accounting, unless waivers have been signed by everyone entitled to distribution. Second, a report of administration including a complete summary of the actions the personal representative has taken in their role to administer the estate. And third, the petition should ask the court to approve the accounting, if one was filed, approve the distribution of the estate assets, and approve any fees to be paid to the personal representative or their attorney. The formula for fee calculation can be found in Probate Code Section 10810. After filing these documents, the court will set the date for the final probate hearing. When filing the petition for final distribution with the court, the personal representative should also submit an order for final distribution. The order should list every asset in detail from the inventory and appraisal. It should outline specifically which heirs and beneficiaries will receive which property from the estate and in what amount. After the order is approved and signed by the judge, the personal representative should obtain at least one certified copy for their records. If the estate included real property, they'll also need to record this order with the county recorder. After filing the final petition and receiving a court date for the final hearing, the personal representative must give notice of the hearing to all interested parties. Here's how to give proper notice. First, fill out the front side and top half of the back side of the Notice of Hearing form DE120. Have someone who is not a party in the matter mail or personally deliver the Notice of Hearing form to each person who is entitled to receive notice at least 15 days before the hearing date and include a copy of the petition. Third, have the person who mailed the Notice of Hearing sign the proof of service by mail on the reverse side of the form. File the original Notice of Hearing with the completed proof of service by mail with the probate filing clerk. Only the completed Notice of Hearing needs to be filed with the court and not the copy of the attached petition. At the final hearing, the judge will review the documents and hopefully approve the distribution. At that point, the personal representative can make distributions to the beneficiaries or heirs of the estate. After distributing the assets to the heirs or beneficiaries, the personal representative will need to obtain a receipt from each person who receives estate property. Each receipt should be filed with the court prior to filing a petition for final discharge. For anyone who received real property, the recording of the order with the county recorder is considered the receipt for that property. After complying with the terms of the order for final distribution and file the appropriate receipts, the court will make an order discharging the personal representative from any future liability. After receiving the discharge, the personal representative should notify the IRS and the Franchise Tax Board that they are no longer acting as the fiduciary for the estate. Closing a probate estate consists of meeting numerous deadlines, filing multiple petitions in legal pleading format, and hiring an experienced probate attorney, which can be helpful in this process. If you have any questions, about how to close a probate estate, please contact our office. We hope this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions about estate administration, feel free to contact the law offices of Daniel Hunt using the information listed below. Thanks.